What's going on, baseball fans? How you doing? So it looks like Mike Soroka and the Braves have gotten some bad news. Let's go talk about it. Okay, so here's the story. Mike Soroka is out for the season. A tough blow for Mike Soroka. Tough blow for the Atlanta Braves. Uh, Mike Soroka last year tore his Achilles in a start. And since then, he's been rehabbing. It was looking like he was going to be coming back in June, maybe July the latest. But he did have a setback. He was experiencing some discomfort still with, that Ach with the Achilles. And it, w they decided that he was going to be undergoing exploratory surgery. And it's looking like, well, they probably found something or they found at least that he's going to have to continue to rehab. Not sure if there's going to be any other surgeries involved or whatever. Um, but either way, this is a tough blow, especially uh, for a pitching staff, a starting pitching staff that really could use the uh, an addition of a Mike Soroka, considering the fact that the Atlanta Braves rank 22nd in starting pitching this year. If we do go look at the Braves starting pitching, it's actually it's not as bad as it might seem. However, it's just not very deep. Um, that that twenty second ranking is getting a little bit in, a little bit inflated by some of these other guys' numbers. But the the three main guys, you got guys like Ian Anderson, Charlie Morton, Max Fried, who have been pitching well this year. Max Fried has been pitching a lot better as of late. However, Wasker Noah, that was another one that got injured just recently after punching a dugout bench and breaking his hand. Uh, I mean, who knows how long he's going to be out? That he could be out for a, a few months at least. Um, so that was bad. And then, you know, and if you're not even looking at the, the pitching right now, they're losing Marcelo Zuna as well. Um, he's going to be missing at least six weeks. Uh, I, I believe he dislocated a couple of fingers. So uh, the Braves are just not getting very lucky right now with injuries. The Braves have not been playing uh, as good as people thought they were going to be playing. Um, but losing a Mike Soroka, this was a guy where back in 2019, this guy really burst onto the scene, finished rookie of the, second in rookie of the year voting, sixth in Cy Young voting. He was 13 and four that year, a 2.68 ERA. I mean, this guy was really good in his rookie season. And last year, just a, a tough blow with the Achilles tendon. And then, and, and again, another tough blow for a Mike Soroka. It's just, you just hate to see it. If we go take a look at the standings currently, Right now, the Braves see them, uh, or we see the Braves at 24 and 25. They're two, they're two and a half back in the National League East. It's a very tight National League East. The Mets, they've been playing a little better as of late. The Braves have kind of just been hanging around as like this 500 team lately. Um, so it's going to be very interesting to see what the Braves end up doing. Again, this is kind of what they have to work with. It, you know, for, I mean, for the most part, their top three guys, Ian Anderson, Charlie Morton, Max Freed, these guys have been able to kind of hold the ship together for the most part. Losing a Noah was definitely not a good thing, but they're going to have to have some other guys step up. You know, Drew Smiley, this is a guy who hasn't really had the success that he had last year. He's going to have to try and figure out a way to step it up a little bit. The bullpen is going to have to, you know, kind of take on more of the load, I would imagine. Well, I'm also wondering if the Braves – or maybe, maybe they go out and look for a starting pitcher. Um, you know, it's funny. One guy that instantly comes to mind, and this is not going to happen, but it's just, you know, kind of fun to think about. Could maybe the Braves give the Washington Nationals a phone call for maybe a guy like a Max Scherzer? I don't think that's going to happen. I would probably put a 0% chance of that happening. But if the Nationals continue to fall out of this race, they're four back. It's not like they're completely out of it. But 21 and 25, Max Scherzer's in his walk year. You got to think, man, would the Nationals maybe consider trading Max Scherzer to the Braves? Could that be a possibility? I think that could be really fun. Could you imagine Max Scherzer in a Braves uniform? I think that could be pretty fun. But I would imagine the Braves definitely could be uh, maybe looking for maybe to bring in a starting pitcher. We'll have to see what they end up doing. Uh, but again, tough blow for Mike Soroka. The Braves, they're going to need to figure this out. Tell me what you think down below in the comments. Do you think the Braves, um, they're really going to hurt from this? What do you think the Braves are going to do to try and make up for the loss of a Mike Soroka this season? Let me know down below in the comments. If you can, subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like button, hit all the buttons, and I'll talk to you next time.